Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We're going to be trying out the brand new Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collab. I am so happy, you guys. I want to say, Christie, I am so proud of you. I love Christie with my entire heart. Um, Christie has always been one of the nicest people to me in this industry. She is so amazing and she is always just so kind. She is exactly how she is in her videos like in real life she is just one of the nicest people ever and I could not be happier for someone to have a collab and a palette I have honestly been waiting for Christy to do a palette or something the longest time because I knew it would be like something right up my alley and sure enough this palette is right up my alley and I am just so happy for her I collabed with pure which is like one of my favorite brands I love pure I love their products I love their team they are so amazing so Having them two pair up is like such a good collab. So I'm so excited. Out of you, Christy, like 2020, even though that this year has been um, <laughs> a lot, I feel like this is honestly your year and I'm just so happy for you. So anyways, let's get into this collection. So I know that this collection uh, pretty much broke the internet. Christy literally broke the internet on the launch day. I know there was a lot of issues and I know a lot of people were waiting for a very long time. Um, I didn't even know if I was going to get this in PR. I also was waiting <laughs> at 9am I think it was that morning and I, I was there through most of it. Um, yeah, it was crazy. So I know that they're going to be doing a restock and stuff soon. I think today while I'm filming this, Christy is supposed to um, announce restock dates and stuff. So I don't have it yet. I just checked her story and stuff and there isn't anything yet. So I'm sure by the time I edit this video, it should possibly have a restock date. So I will either put that on the screen and, or in the description box down below. show you guys what this collection looks like. So I have the little PR box right here. It's so cute. It has all these drawings on here that Christy drew herself. We have her cats. We have Zach over here in the little friends frame. It is adorable. I love this. I'm going to keep this little box because it's really cute. This is what the inside looks like. It has her two lashes. Oh my god, my necklace is sticky. Two lashes and then her little palette. The box has those same little designs on it. Um, same for the actual palette. And then on the back of the palette, we have Christy's little cute face back here. And then the colors and all that good stuff. A cute little note. It's called a pressed pigment palette. Um, not all the shades, I think, are pressed pigments. But I think a lot of them are. I've never worked with any pressed pigments and stuff. It's still in a lot of eyeshadow palettes now. Um, but it just basically means that they're not technically eye safe. But I've always used them on my eyes. I've never had any problems. I do have pretty sensitive eyes too. Um, I've never had any issues other than staining and staining usually happens with pinks. I wear a lot of pink eyeshadow. Most of them are not safe for the eye and I've always been fine. Usually it's just staining and the staining comes out after I wash my face. So what the palette looks like and I'm so excited because it is a double-sided palette which is so cool. Side We have the neutral side and this is what that side looks like. Perfect everyday palette honestly. Um, these like neutral shades are right up my alley. They're not like super super neutral. They're more like those mustardy yellow poopy brown colors which are my favorite so I love that. I love that there's also a mauve in here because I love mauve eyeshadows. This side basically has everything I would need for a neutral look and I love that. So on the other side we have the side I was most excited for which is the colorful side. Again, right up my alley. That's why I knew like if Christy ever came out with a palette, I would probably love it. She loves neutrals, but she also likes colorful like I do. So this chef's kiss. Um, all I needed to see was that there was a bright ass pink eyeshadow in here and that's all I needed to know. Um, but we have a pink, a red, my perfect eyeshadows, um, a white, some blues, purple, and I like that they're all basically matte except for the center shade here and the center shade on the neutral side. So we have two shimmers, which thank God, because I have so many shimmers. I don't need shimmers. I want mattes. I want matte colorful eyeshadow. So I was so happy to see that. And um, all the names in here are really cute. If you guys watched her video, she pretty much explained what every single shade 
mint and I love it. I think it's just so cute. Everything in here just feels so personal. It retails for $34. I didn't know I do have a code with Pure and it did actually work for this collection. I wasn't sure if it was going to or not, but you guys all let me know that it did work. So if you guys want to use my code on the restock date, you guys can. It's just Katrina and it'll save you some money. Um, it is an affiliate code, so I will like make like a tiny commission off of it, but um, if you guys don't feel comfortable <laughs> using affiliate codes, that's completely fine. But if you guys want to save some money, you guys can use the code. It does work on the collections. And then we have two pairs of lashes. <laughs> These are empty because they're on my eyes. These are retailing for $14 each. And the Style Lovely is a little bit more full, a little bit more fluffy. I have the Style Can't Be Bothered on my eyes right now. That is the collection. I haven't been this excited for a collection in so long. This is the look that I came up with today using the collection. And I do give you guys my final thoughts and review at the end of the video. So I will link everything down below and I will include like my discount code or anything if you guys want to use it. Um, and I, like I said, I will include the restock date once I find out what it is. I'll either put that on the screen somewhere if I didn't already and I'll leave it in the description box as well. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my thoughts on this collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so I already have my eyes primed. I just used the e.l.f. putty primer or the eye putty primer. It's the primer that I always use. So we're going to jump into the palette. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to start off on the neutral side. Take the shade It Just Does. It's like this peachy shade. I'm going to just take that shade and put that in my crease. Oh, these are like really really pigmented like you don't need to tap very hard into that uh into that shadow so i'm just gonna place this in the crease wow these are super pigmented and this is just the neutral side so i'm just putting that in my crease super super pigmented but like still easy to blend you know like sometimes i've mentioned this before when shadows are really pigmented they sometimes are a little bit hard to blend or they're just like too pigmented where like you can't blend them out. I don't feel like that's how this shadow is at all. That actually blended out pretty effortlessly. So very happy about that. Really just like tapping my brush in there like once. Wow, okay. I've tried pure eyeshadows before and they're really good so I'm not surprised. I just feel like these ones are a little bit... Um, better <laughs> but i mean so far so good I, I really like that shade a lot there is a little bit of like um kickback in the shadows i don't know if you guys can really see it but there is just a tad that's pretty much the only shade i'm gonna use from the neutral side today you guys know i like more of the colorful eyeshadows so i am gonna dip into flavor town which is the red and i'm taking this on a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush and i'm just gonna put this right underneath the shade we just put down this is really pigmented Ooh, I love. Okay, you guys know I'm always looking for like a good red eyeshadow. This one, she may have snapped, guys. This one is really, really nice. It's like a true red. You guys know I've mentioned this before. I, I love red eyeshadow. I'm a red eyeshadow connoisseur. I'm always trying to find the best one. And sometimes they always lean more pink, more orange. It's never like truly red. This one I feel like is like a true... True red. Back with that other brush from before to just blend out those edges. Oh, I love. I love. It's really good. I already know I'm going to get so much use out of this red. So far, I really love that. Even with the first shade we put down, it's more of like a peachy orange color. And I still feel like even putting down the red, it still stayed true to like a red shade. So I'm sure most of you guys know, not only am I a red eyeshadow lover, I love pink eyeshadow the most. And this pink in here is screaming my name. I'm just going to take a little bit more of my e.l.f. Uh, primer and I'm actually going to kind of cut my crease with it, clean up this area just so I have like a more clean application of the pink. So just like that I guess I did do like end up doing a half cut crease. <laughs> so I'm taking Side Effect which is the pink shade. I'm so excited to use this one. <gasps> it's so pigmented. Oh my... Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is stunning. I don't know if you can really tell the difference like between the red and the pink, but the pink is stunning. It's super, super bright and vibrant. And it's like a nice 
the perfect hot pink a little bit more of the red and just blend that in this outer corner over here and I'm also going to bring that into the crease a little bit more and I'm actually going to take a clean brush and just kind of clean up these edges a little bit of this purple in here I don't know do I want to take the purple I'm taking tribute or right, let me see yeah I'm going to take tribute which is the purple in here I'm going to put a little bit of that in the outer corner and I'm going to see what it looks like the white shade in here and I'm actually gonna put that on my brow bone oh that's a bright white just up in this area I'm actually just stamping that down I'm gonna blend it out like so really nice white eyeshadow it's very very white and bright I add a little bit more of that purple So I just went ahead and just finished this eye really quick. So I'm going to do my foundation and then we'll do the lower lash line. So I went ahead and did my foundation, bronzer, blush, and I'm baking right now. So I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that same purple shade, um, Tribute, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Ooh, this purple is so pretty. Like... It's super, super pigmented, and it just, I mean, all the shades in here are really pigmented. I'm really impressed. I'm just going to take that same pink that we used um, on the top side effect. I'm just going to put that on the inner part of the lower lash line. Blending that in to the purple, I love this pink shade so much it's so beautiful so pigmented so vibrant so bright I everything i could ask for in a pink <laughs> kind of connecting that pink to the inner corner from the top like so almost so it kind of just connects all together you know and i'm gonna take some of the cafe disco shade that middle shimmer in here um, I love, by the way, I love it. All of the shadows are pretty much matte, except for the center shades on both sides. So I'm taking Cafe Disco, and I'm just going to plop that in my inner corner. Beautiful. I love. And obviously, I know that this look is not everyone's cup of tea. I love being extra and bright and bright, bold colors. <laughs> I'm kind of taking that purple almost as like a liner, but coming from the bottom, like so. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so I already applied one lash. I'm wearing the Can't Be Bothered lash. Um, the other one was like a little bit more fluffy. I wanted something a little bit more winged out and wispy. I thought it just went with this um, eye look a little bit better. So I'm waiting for this one to dry so I could apply it. But these ones are more like um, more PC and wispy and the other ones are a little bit more um, fluffy and full. I trimmed them. I took about like two of the um, end pieces off. I've got pure lashes before in the past. I love pure lashes. They're like some of my favorites. Um, for like a whole year and a half, I wore like the same pure lashes for like that entire year 2017 i think 2018 who knows but they have really good lashes so i'm gonna apply this one. So this is the finished look i love it i love it so much let me give you guys my final thoughts on this palette and the lashes i don't think i really need to say much i love this palette to death i think that this is so amazing. I'm so, so impressed with the quality, the pigmentation, the blendability. I think it's such a good palette. Um, I love that we have two different sides. We have a colorful side and a neutral side. It is perfect for traveling. I like this might be like one of my go-tos because I do do a more like neutral look on a day-to-day -day basis, but you guys know how much I love color. I love colorful eyeshadows and I do colorful looks all the time. So I will definitely reach for this a lot. I have everything in one palette. Um, and honestly, like if I were to travel, I think I would take this palette because if I wanted to do something colorful, you guys know I always do something red or pink. <laughs> so I have a red and a pink in here. I have a white shimmer, 
purple because I do wear purple a lot as well. But then I also have my neutral shades too. And I love the neutral shades because they are more of that like warm, mustardy, yellowy, brown, poopy brown colors that I absolutely love. I think this is such a good palette and if you guys didn't pick it up with this first round that they did, I would highly, highly, highly recommend to pick it up on the second um, time around, so for the restock. Absolutely recommend it. I think it is beautiful. The colors were amazing. Payoff was great. And it's also like you're supporting Christie, so I definitely recommend it. It is so good, and um, I do love these lashes. I like these ones a lot. I like that they're nice and PC and wispy, um, and I like the other ones too. They're more like fluffy and a little bit more um, like 3D-ish, um, but they are cruelty-free, so you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't use mink lashes or anything. Like, I don't use mink lashes. These are cruelty-free, and they're synthetic, so absolutely love this collection, and I'm so excited to play around with it and do more looks with it, um, especially more neutral looks. I can definitely see myself using this for like every day just to like grab one or two shadows and just throw it in the crease. Like I said I don't have to say too much. Obviously, I love this palette and I definitely 1000% recommend it. It is beautiful. Love this look that I came up with. It's definitely right up my alley. Definitely colors that I love. So um, yeah, I'm so, so proud of you, Christy. You killed it. This honestly might be one of my favorite collabs that I've ever tried. I just think that everything is so nice and I love the idea of the palette. I don't think anybody deserves a collab and a palette more than you do so I'm so happy. Thank you so much for sending this over by the way and I just I love it and I love you so much so um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually were able to pick it up on the day it launched. I know it was a crazy crazy launch day um, but honestly it made me so like proud that like Christy literally broke the internet. If you didn't, are you going to pick it up during the restock? And don't forget, my code did work for um, the collection when it launched. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to or not for sure, but everybody told me that it did work. So if you guys want to save some money on the collection, you guys use my code. It's just Katrina. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys did like this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe or not subscribe already, and I will see you guys in my next video.